Now let's take a look and dig into the arrangement view. Again, if you have access to the projects in the project folder, find this demo song, Vitamins by Jethro. This is also available directly from the Ableton Live site, so you can follow along from there if you wish. After you've loaded this song in, go ahead and press the Tab key, and we're into Arrangement View, where we're going to be exploring now. The layout of the Arrangement View is where we're going to start, and you can see many things are similar. Over to the left, we have access to the browser that's exactly the same. Across the top, we have the control bar sections, which are the same. Here we have an overview, but this is actually more helpful to us because the overview is a mini view of our actual arrangement down here. Over to the right, we have the buttons that toggle us between arrangement view and session view. Down below, we have access to certain components within the mixer, but notice that the crossfader is not available here. To get to that, you'll have to go back to the session view. And down below, we have the detail view, which also can have the info view hidden or revealed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this for a while so that we can look at the different sections. So I'm going to and hide the complete lower detail view. Now, up here across the top, the overview again can be hidden by Command Option O. So if you don't see it, you can pull it up. I'm clicking and holding, and you can see already that I have the magnifying glass. We know we can zoom by pulling down, we zoom in. Pushing up, we can zoom in. Also, if you click and hold anywhere within this rectangular box and drag left or right, you can move forward in time in the song or later in time in the song. Additionally, by clicking in any single location, you can jump immediately to that point in time. You can see the color coordination here. I have a little purple beep thing here, and we can see it's right in here. Beep, 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 long, short, short, moving forward and we can see that. Across here we see measure numbers marking things along and also the loop brace can be helpful here and again your loop is set here by our display position so I'm going to set it at 35 I'm going to tell it to be 8 bars long and the reason I've done this because I want us to be able to see the loop brace here it is right here. Now we can move the end by clicking and holding and dragging we can also move the beginning by clicking and holding and dragging. We can also move the entire section by clicking on the brace and move it. The length is now staying the same. There are also some great key commands for altering this loop brace for live performance that you might want to check out. Now over here on the right, the mixer is quite a bit different. So we'll spend a bit looking into the mixer as a separate exploration into the arrangement view. So across the top, we also see some additional buttons here for locating by what are called locators. I can jump to the previous locator here, and these are used to mark different sections in the song. So we can see we've got one at the intro, another one called hip top. You can also begin playback by clicking anywhere up in the top or down here. You'll see it jump back. Also, clicking on one of the triangles makes your start point jump to that position. So now every time I restart, it'll start from that locator. Okay, so I'm going to scroll forward here, get to another locator, and click on it. And grab my loop brace, bring it back, and even though I can't see the end, I can still drag it as though it were there. Again, even if the loop brace is off the end of the screen, and scroll back, Ableton Live makes it grabable even if the end isn't really there. That's a nice asset. Okay, so I've shortened this up to four bars, and loop is on. So we should see loop engage. Now I can also click and hold and mark a section anywhere and playback will begin there and keep going if I'm wondering what this section is right here I can simply click and drag across it I'm going to click on its solo button and we hear just that so you can quickly find out what each section of music is and also in detail view 
double clicking we can get to the MIDI notes etc right away or the audio waveforms right away again even though the clip appearance is not the same as what we've seen clips to be over in the session view once we create an arrangement we're actually creating some new clips you can actually drag these into your clip browser and save them so if you've got a new section over here you created as you created your song slash arrangement you can save those as unique clips okay so that's a quick overview of the arrangement view in the next section we'll dig into some of the details a bit more